House Majority Whip Steve Scalise returned to the field Thursday, one year after being shot and wounded at a congressional baseball practice. He was walking with the help of a crutch before the annual congressional baseball game started, but he was about to play without it. On the first play of the night, Scalise fielded a ground ball at second base and threw it to first to record the out. Scalise throws him out at first from his knees. The entire infield, the entire field goes over to congratulate him and give him a big hug. How about that? For the very first pitch, he gets the ground ball and throws out Ruiz at first base. What a moment. Look at the, the hugs. It's so great to see. Scalise remained in the game for one more batter before leaving the field to a standing ovation with a little help from his teammates. Before the game, Scalise spoke with our Nancy Cordes about how his near-death experience changed his outlook on life. You know, if anything, it just focuses you more on the things that are important in life. You know, the, the things you love, your family, the job that I love, and, uh, and your friends that get you through it. So, uh, you know, you appreciate that even more. And, and to me, what, what touched me, I think, in the most unique way was seeing how many people prayed for me that I've never met before and how the power of prayer has really strengthened uh, my recovery. That, uh, you know, I didn't realize how much that would affect me. You've been a real source of inspiration, I think, to just a lot of your colleagues. Seeing you come back, it's, you know, obviously lifted everyone's spirits when you first came back, and, you know, they've watched you recover every step of the way. How big of a source of strength have they been for you? Uh, you know, my colleagues have been an incredible source of strength. And it just when I, when I walked back into the House chamber that first time in September, uh, to feel that love and the, you know, the ovation and to see the faces, I mean, members and friends I hadn't seen in months uh, after coming out of the hospital for three and a half months to just look around and see everybody smiling and welcoming me back. Because uh, there were days where I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it back. And, uh, and that was just an incredible feeling.